Welcome to Hampshire. Today, we're in Bluebell country. Great to see you all again, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, we've left my beloved Dorset and we've crossed the border and we've come over to Hampshire. But the reason we've come here is this, a spectacular bluebell forest, absolutely covered with a carpet of bluebells everywhere. Not only that, we've got long, tall, slender beech trees in here and it looks stunning. It's fantastic and I absolutely can't wait to shoot it. We've come down and the forecast was for nice clear skies, which should have given us some beautiful light coming in. Unfortunately, the weathermen have called it wrong again for a change. And we've got a little bit of cloud out there, but I've just noticed there are some gaps forming in there. And we might, if we're really, really lucky, get some sunlight coming through. So uh, everything to play for, we're gonna hold out for that, but uh, no miss today, sadly. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing predicted for the rest of the week here and uh, not a lot I can do with that one, but uh, we're going to try and sort of do our best to get some shots anyway. But uh, for this morning, our aim is to get some nice light on these bluebells with that beautiful magenta hue as the sun's very, very low down and it casts sort of golden red rays all over the bluebells and it just transforms the colour. So there's not uh, at the moment anyone really here other than a, a handful of photographers who I've seen. And I've got to give a special thanks to Rob Dove, who I bumped into, who's uh, someone I've known for a quite a long time. And uh, he gave me some good pointers on where to go here. So uh, thanks, Rob. I really appreciate that. I'll uh, link up his Instagram down here. Uh, give him a follow. I'm sure he'd really appreciate it. Now the sun is due to rise any minute now. Uh, can't really see too much in the way of, uh, you know, signs of that because it is quite cloudy out there, but uh, the light doesn't really strike this part of the forest for about 30 minutes. So uh, I'm all set up, I'm ready to go, but I'm gonna have a little scout round for some uh, other compositions just while I'm waiting for that light to come up and uh, see what we can get. But uh, yeah, at the moment it's a bit of a 50-50 whether we'll get it, but uh, you know, there might be a little bit of light just come through and that's all it takes. We've got a beautiful composition lined up with some nice trees going down to a path that converge inside and uh, yeah the light will come up just in front of it and hopefully we're going to be gold. So one of the biggest tips that I can give you here is when you're shooting a bluebell forest at sunrise or indeed sunset is try and get as close to the edge of the forest as you can where the sun is rising or setting and that way your composition is going to get the light on it first and it's going to get all of those nice red beams as they come through. The further back you get in the forest the less chance your composition is going to have of actually getting that good first thing light um, from right from the start. It's going to have to wait for a little while so uh, we're going to go for that. We're going to shoot on the 24105 to start with, but we're going to probably change over to the 100-400, depending on the composition that we've got. Um, there's a variety of different things to shoot here, so uh, yeah, we'll just see um, as you know as and when the scene dictates. Also, it's worth mentioning about uh, aperture, and the the done thing in forests is generally to shoot at uh, you know a wide open aperture. Um, I'm not always convinced that that's the best way personally, and I'm no expert on forests, but uh, you know certain scenes I do believe you know you need a bit more of a uh, narrow aperture uh, just to get that focus right. I think it's um, you know a very good uh, ploy to throw out the focus and if you haven't got mist it does give you separation if you've got a wide open aperture but uh, I do like to indeed shoot it at sometimes a, a bit of a narrow aperture just to get everything in focus and uh, as it runs through the scene but as I say it does depend on each scene and we will be changing it about you know some scenes we'll uh, shoot at sort of f4 other scenes we might be uh, right up to f16 or something like that all depends. 
Uh, the other aim of today is I'd like to try and get a nice panorama at some point in here if I can. That would be really, really great. And at the moment, the wind's quite low, but we'll have to pay careful attention on our ISO because uh, you've got some beautiful little canopies just coming over from these beech trees. There's some lovely sort of green leaves, but they will blow about in that wind. So uh, got to make sure obviously we, uh, we freeze uh, everything as best as we can. And uh, at the moment, there's obviously not a lot of light. So uh, might be a case of high, uh, high ISO. We'll just have to see as each shot unfolds and uh, go from there. The sky actually looks like it's clearing in certain areas at the moment, so I'm, I'm hopeful that we might actually get a bit of light. There is some cloud on the horizon still, so it might block the initial sunrise, but after that, we might be lucky and we might get some. Um, I've taken the decision not to put the drone up today. Uh, there's a couple of other people who've uh, arrived in the forest now, and I don't want to disturb their photography, so uh, might not be a lot in the way of footage today. It's probably going to be very much me walking around, getting my compositions and showing you those. So uh, yeah, might not be as a dynamic video as normal, but uh, you you know, I have to consider others and uh, you know, I'd hope they'd do the same for me if I was there. So uh, yeah, best to just be a little bit low key today and uh, enjoy it. The sun's just about starting to be visible and hopefully within a few minutes, we should be able to get some light. Uh, it usually, as I say, it's about quarter past six that the, uh, the light arrives here. So we've got about 10 minutes to go and I'm hopeful that we might just get some beautiful, nice red tones just coming on those bluebells and casting that beautiful magenta look on there instead of the, the sort of usual blue color that you see in the sunlight. So uh, yeah, hopefully it should be really, really nice. As the sun's come up, it's just dipped behind a cloud and we've got a very, very brief moment of that magenta just coming onto those bluebells there as the sunlight hit them. Um, I made a decision to quickly swap over to the 100-400 uh, so I could zoom in and just take advantage of that and uh, crop into the scene, compress it all down nicely. And uh, hopefully you've captured those, uh, you know, purple tones mixed in with the blue shadows on the bluebells. It looked beautiful, but it was very, very fast, very fleeting. There is a little bank of cloud out there, but it should clear. Um, and, you know, so hopefully it will give us a little bit more light. But uh, at the moment, it's now just a waiting game for that sun to come back through. I just hope that it clears before it gets too high in the sky and then all of the sort of red tones come out of it and it starts to get, you know, much more of a, like a bleached light, which we really don't want. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on, all to play for. The eagle-eyed viewers amongst you will notice I'm not using any filters and I'm not using a polarizer. That's because I'm shooting almost directly into the sun here and I really, really don't want the extra sort of shutter speed that a uh, polarizer is going to add. Plus, it's not really going to be effective when I'm shooting direct. It's going to be much better to have, uh, you know, a clean shot without it. Um, and the filters, I mean, although they'd help with the sunshine here, they're really not particularly good because they're going to just darken all the trees. So you're just going to get an uneven shot. So, uh, yeah, shooting completely clean today, straight through your lens. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to uh, still get a uh, reasonable shot out of it without the filters. Well, I'm not sure if you can see or not behind me, but we've got an absolutely beautiful display of light coming through now. We've got those beautiful magenta tones all over the uh, bluebells. It looks fantastic, absolutely stunning morning. It was a bit touch and go for a while. There was a cloud came in, it obscured the sun and I wasn't sure whether we we're gonna get it. It's not gonna last too long out there at the moment because uh, the, uh, the sun, as it's raising, it's not, um, not going to give us these beautiful beams of uh, sort of magenta. So uh, going to have to rush around and uh, I'm probably going to miss a whole load of vlog here, but I just need to rush around, get the shots or else there's nothing to show you at the end. So uh, bear with me. I will be back. Well, we've had some great light this morning. Really, really unexpected to be fair, because it looked like it was going to cloud over, but uh, it came back at the last minute and we managed to get around and secure a few shots. As I say, I haven't really been able to vlog it that much, simply because I've been moving around the forest very fast, making sure I can make the most of this light while it's here, because it might disappear at any second. But uh, it's been a fantastic morning. And uh, I thought I'd uh, go over a, a couple of things which have helped me on this particular shoot and uh, sort of pass them on to you, see if it's uh, any benefit, benefit at all. Um, 
I've basically, I've been trying to shoot, as you'll see, at uh, pretty much eye level throughout. Now with bluebells, it's often quite nice to get down quite low to them, but uh, because I'm trying to shoot the carpet and the light coming across the carpet, I've been generally higher up on the tripod and that does seem to be working well for me. The lower shots, the coverage doesn't look quite as much. And because I'm shooting on, on a long lens, obviously the lower I get, then the more problems I'm gonna have with things like focusing and uh, you know the, the focus throughout the whole scene. So um, trying to get to nice and uh, high up on there. Also, I'm trying, if possible, to shoot uphill. Uh, when you shoot uphill, the carpet appears a lot more dense, so it's uh, really, really worth doing. It's much better than being on the top of the hill and sort of shooting down. And of course, the light is striking uh, on there so as it goes across. And I'm trying to get, um, in the morning, first thing I was trying to get the sun coming uh, in front of me onto the bluebells. But now I'm sort of shooting with the light behind me a little bit, uh, just trying to capitalize with that nice light on there. Uh, I've hopefully nailed quite a few shots uh, out of this one today. So I'm really, really pleased with it. It's been a really, really nice trip out. And uh, yeah, yeah, hopefully uh, a few decent images, but uh, absolutely amazing forest here. And uh, it's just incredible. And I just don't know where to shoot next. Every time I move, there's a, another composition. And uh, you know, I have a feeling there might be a, a fair few uh, pictures at the end, but I think I'll, you know, only put a handful up, just the best bits and pieces on it. But uh, yeah, a really, really good day. Well, we've got a lot of images today, and if I stuck them all up, you'd be here for absolutely hours. So I'm only going to stick a handful up and, uh, you know, just the better shots from the day and uh, just try and put a mix in there, some from the sunrise and uh, some from just where we've got the light on these uh, bluebells as well. But uh, I hope you like them. Let me know in the comments what you think. Well, we've had a good touch of luck today at uh, Hampshire and uh, we've we've had some nice light in here. It's been challenging at times with some cloud coming over, but uh, generally we've done quite well. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you like the pictures. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, please do hit the like button. It really does help the video get out and I'd be very, very grateful. And if you're not a subscriber, please do consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time.